Uh, my name is Malin Björk. I'm a member of the European Parliament for the Swedish Left Party. And you're joining the flotilla, to, the women's flotilla to Gaza. Could you tell me why, please? Well, uh, actually, I was with the, uh, the European Parliament uh, when I worked as an advisor, I think about four years ago, and we, we were able to enter Gaza. And I saw, you know, the situation there. We went, met with lots of women's organizations on the ground. And, uh, I mean, when I was asked whether I could join the women's club to Gaza, for me it was obvious that I wanted to do that in solidarity with those women, the way they provide and work for, I mean, for Palestine, but also for for uh, to having a livable situation in Gaza under very inhumane conditions. What would your message be to Israeli women? I think women have a great, great capacity for solidarity across communities and boundaries, uh, and I think we should use it to the fullest, to the fullest. And uh, I think that women will have a very central role to play when it comes to creating a democratic Palestine with women's rights, human rights in the center and the heart of, of, of that, that, uh, uh, that project and that state. So, uh, and, and Israeli women is an important part of showing solidarity, support and that conflicts can be overcome. And those links have to be stronger. You know, there's, there are examples of that in different conflict zones. Uh, where women reach out to each other and they, regardless of all the other hostilities, they manage to create a, a relationship of trust and confidence. So please do that, please do that. Don't underestimate your role, your importance to reach out between the communities. What will you be doing in the European community about it? And what are your expectations of the European, European community? You know, I think there are very, very different uh, positions of different European states. Uh, Sweden has recognized Palestine. I think it's the first step to, you know, kind of get some political movement going. And uh, I work in the European Parliament. We have quite a strong grouping in support of Palestine and, and in support of, of a two-state resolution. And you know, we do make resolutions. But in the end, uh, it is some of the key member states of the European Union has to decide that this is a priority for them. Yesterday, a deal was closed between the U.S. and Israel for another 10 years of enormous arms support on condition that they are of course being bought in the United States. What is your opinion of this, of the, the, the um, effect of this arms deal on possible peace with the Palestinians? Well, I think all these deals, uh, arms trade deals, are, are, uh, are undermining the possibilities to find peace uh, in the region. Uh, I think we are in an escalation of armament globally and in the region and it is a very very bad very very bad development so uh, and once again I think women uh, are, are key actors to counteract that that there is no military solution to the conflict uh, between Israel and Palestinian there are no Wendy? military solutions to any of the conflict there are political solutions and women has to have, have a voice in those political solutions on the assumption Hillary Clinton will be elected to president of the US, what do you think we can reach? Well, you know, I know that, that you, you I, I'm European, I'm from Sweden, so the US policy, I know that they, that, that is the, one of the main focus for us to try to understand what will be our, our possible avenue for, for, um, for maneuvering. I don't know, I think she needs to have pressure on her. I think any heads of state need to have pressure in order to do the right thing and in order to focus on finding a solution to, 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 the, to the conflict. And in order to do that, they need pressure, need pressure from, from, uh, from civil society, from, from citizens uh, in Israel, in Palestine and around the world. Thank you very much and have a good trip. I hope we'll meet on, on the way. Thank, Thank you. you. The same to you.